Okay, perfect. So without further ado, let's get underway and share what we're here to share today. So vaccine injury and trauma repair. So obviously we're not doctors um, or anything like that or licensed health practitioners, really just speaking from an integrated approach and just to give you some wisdom to help you in your journey. So the free series that we're starting is to give you tools and knowledge to heal trauma, injury, significant side effects, and others so you can be light to your community and guide them through their struggles if they need help. So yeah, look, my journey has been very interesting over the years. I've had quite a number of different stuff happen. And one of the things I learned was I've had probably three different, I've had quite a few different things I've been told was incurable, but a normal system. And I really had to be my own physician and explore and dig in there and find a way through it. And this was, a, and one of the things I learned with that was very important to take an integrative approach, take action, but at the same time, trust the process. And, and that's what I'm learning now, even with the current uh, matter I'm facing. So it's learning to trust the process and go with the process and let it, let it take its time. And that's easier said than done. So, yeah, I mean, I basically had fibromyalgia, I had chronic fatigue, I had, um, RSI, I had um, gallbladder stuff. Um, if I listened to the medical profession, I wouldn't have a gallbladder, I would have been on all kinds of disability and all kinds of medication and all kinds of other things um, for the various things I had to deal with and arthritis medication and everything. So I found alternate ways. And yes, I did spiritual and etheric clearing, but I also found doing other stuff was important as well. So in terms of getting started, the big problem um, it's pretty safe to say people have never been the same since COVID. If you can relate to that, just raise your hand. Um, generally, there's been an extreme increase in this kind of stuff, um, generally. So that's what um, mental health practitioners are reporting and others. Less joy, motivation in life, at times even a sense of hopelessness um, and despair, so as we speak. So... Um, physical aches and pains as well, um, spiritual and mental craziness, that one I certainly noticed myself very much so and having to deal with that and really many more things. So in terms of what's actually causing it, well, obviously there are many factors really, but certainly this is one fact. So there's lots and lots of evidence coming out now showing that side effects of the vaccine is one of them. So Many reported injury, side effects and issues are now starting to come forward. Europe, England, and now Australia and all kinds of different places. So there's lots of evidence now to this and there's various inquiries and committees and all that kind of stuff. So really, I can't say not an awful lot more than that. You know, it's just that's how it's been working. So even if you didn't take it, although the evidence is clear, um, there's pretty, you know, evidence is basically um, evidence basically is shedding. So that's been a bit of a problem as well. So studies of quantum physics shows that we really are all connected to each and every one of us, um, so to speak. So each of us are basically connected. So that is we're constantly picking up other people's energies. All these factors combined has created trauma in people's minds, bodies and energies. It's affected many at a very deep level. And the trouble is traditional medicine doesn't solve the problem, as it mainly focuses on the physical symptoms without healing the root cause. And alternative medicine doesn't solve the problem either, on its own. That's been my experience. You need a bit of both. And I can tell you now that um, Sammy, my partner who died, if she'd been willing to get some more traditional medicine as well as the alternative involved, she would probably not have gone the same path as she did. So it focuses on the root without healing immediate problems. That's been the one thing. So in terms of what is the solution, it's to repair the trauma is through an integrated approach. You've got to be self-responsible with your health and basically make sure you're taking real, practical, tangible steps and managing your own health while learning to be wise. And I mean, I found that learning to be balanced is never easy for me it's something that i tend to either rush it too fast or slow it down too much and it's a case of learning to be responsible and being led by your intuition in other words you must be the captain of your own health ship that's the whole nature of this doctors and specialists are part of your team as well they really are they can help you 
So now how do you heal the trauma? To heal it, you must heal it on all three levels. So let's break down the three pillars of health. One is psychological. Um, two is physical. And three is energetic. So really all three. So you definitely got to be getting help to deal with the mind and the mental battle that you face. That's one I've certainly noticed myself and having to learn to get good support and good help to deal with that one. And a lot of, and there is science and doctors have shown, even like Dr. John Sano in his Mind Body Health book, has shown that, you know, many, um, as well as Louise Hay, but many physical health conditions do have an underlying psychological root. Number two, you do have the physical body to live in. We've got the human experience. And whether we like it or not, we do have a physical body. And the third one is energetic or etheric and spirit. You must treat the immediate symptoms without basically, which are also healing the root. So just examples myself of how I solved the, you know, working on all three fillers. Um, when I actually did my chronic fatigue fibromyalgia, I originally went to doctors. I tried all that kind of side of things. I then started going on to diet. I then got a psychologist involved. I then found a homeopath and did some spiritual healing with the homeopath. And then eventually from the homeopath and then a kinesiologist who finished off the whole process by helping me to, um, and sorry, there's a personal trainer involved for exercise. And the finishing touch was a kinesiologist who just helped me learn to break through it and do some clearings around my energy body. The next phase, um, the next one I had to deal with was when I had a really bad neck one. And again, I went a similar path, but didn't work quite as well at first. Ended up meeting a very integrated chiropractor who worked on whole different levels of the physical body. Gold butter, I did it by a, a lot of fasting combined with um, dietary changes and energetic work eventually to maintain it. So in terms of steps, and sorry, yep, and the arthritis, when I had those symptoms, I fasted for 18 days. It was brutal um, on a juice fast. After trying different things, um, I did a fast and went through various kinds of stuff and eventually managed to get myself through it. So in terms of healing trauma from the vaccine, one, you would want to identify the problem. That's the starting point. So you've got to know exactly what the problem is and what you need to deal with. Number two is to treat the immediate symptoms and really find some kind of way to manage them. That's the number two thing. And do whatever you can to manage it. And that's often can be challenging, but do what you can. Number three is at the same time, get to the root and work that one out. Number four is to see a specialist of some kind. And some kind of medical specialist or even find someone in the field or someone who knows what they're doing and then ongoing maintenance. So it's really about a holistic approach and management in the same way you do with your, you know, physical body when you do gym and stuff like that. So you really want to one, identify the problem, treat the symptoms, get to the root, see a specialist and ongoing maintenance. So how do you put this together and get started? Over the next three weeks, we'll be interviewing different specialists in each field who will give you insight and knowledge to master each so you can become the captain of your own ship. Now, before we take questions, William, I'm going to get you to jump on and take it for a bit, and you're going to explain a little bit more about trauma. So if you could jump on, and that would be great. So explaining about trauma. Yep. And you want to get your camera on? Hold on. Yep. Yep. Great. Um, uh, all right. Sure. So what did you want me to explain about trauma, Warren? Just the approach that you would use, William in dealing with trauma. So when you help clients, for example, how do you do it? Like what's your steps to help people heal trauma? So the steps that I use if healing trauma from, from people like clients is that 
well, first I'll read into them, ask them different questions and bring it out in the first place, help them to recognize that trauma. And then once they've recognized it, that's that's when I'll then I'll get them to breathe and and for a quick minute or two to relax the mind and the body. And then I'll set up that protection ritual that I always set up before any clearing. And then, of course, I use the commands and different codes to then um, transmute the trauma and the, the fragments and the broken bits um, within the souls and the auras or whatever of, of the person and then help them guide them to reclaim like their real soul. And then, and then, of course, after that, I'll get them to then integrate that, that clearing and what they experienced. And I'll then give them different tools and guidance um, for steps to take afterwards so that they can maintain that, um, the healing from that trauma, if that makes sense. Makes very good sense. Thank you, mate. Yeah. And you help clients, don't you, awakening within regularly on trauma? Uh, yes, it's one of the it's one of the key topics that I um, guide and assist people with is help mainly with emotions and with what they've experienced or yes. dealing with entities and that type of different thing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, really and so because remember too, right? Well, we can't, we won't have a problem if we don't know that we have trauma or that we have a problem in the first place, right? Because yeah, because then each client may be different too. I've noticed because some clients are able to explain and recognize what they've experienced, but others might need a little more assistance. Where I where I read directly into the client and then I'll then um, bring out what 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 trauma isn't expressed and what they're unable to put out. Yep. Have you noticed that too at times with different clients that they need a bit of assistance to bring up that trauma because it's that deep and that embedded in their in their consciousness? Yes. Correct. Hmm. Absolutely correct. So yes, when it's really deep and you've often got to heal on many levels from my experience and you need often yes. practical herbal remedies as well and just um, psychological remedies and... Um, I know right now I'm going through a journey, as you know, I'm dealing with a lot of my own trauma and it's just, oh, it's full on. And it's, I've definitely needed to have a, um, a psychologist involved. I've definitely needed to have a um, homeopath involved, um, integrated chiropractic and have my spiritual shaman in you who works with, as well as tr ultimately though trusting my own insight and knowing that I am the best person to judge what feels right for me. Yes, yes. Well, and and this is the kind of guidance I give out to clients too. Is that well? Yes. Ultimately, we are the ruler of our own destiny. Nobody else is but us. And yes. so, well, remember, people, anyone can be guided, but not anyone can take the lesson. Yes, because um, it, it all we can do is guide people to the best of our ability. And, and and train them best we can and, and yes. hope that they'll carry that for life. Yes, like it. So what I might do is open up for questions of William and I. So this is what we'll, uh, we did like yesterday and I'm doing it again today, just doing shorter webinars because our feedback is people these days prefer shorter and to the point and then a more interactive approach. So... If you like that approach, just raise your hand, you know, rather than waffle, just stick to the point. Okay, good. Yep, yeah, quite a few. So questions. And ask away. Yep, so um, type it in the text chat or take the mic even. Yep. Check, 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 chat or um, take the mic. Yep. Okay. No one's got any questions. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So no, no questions from anyone.
maybe any comments? When getting heart issues, um, issues, I mean, did you take the vaccine? Because if you did, that's a fairly common um, side effect from what I get. Yeah, because heart issues, I definitely would be seeing a doctor, um, but I would definitely also get back metaphysical and look at the heart and what it represents, which is about, you know, feeling and broken heart and that kind of stuff. Um, definitely that kind of stuff. So that's, the, so that's, I'd be looking at that. I'd be looking at homeopathic remedies and something like that as well. That would be quite useful for something like yes. that. Yes, definitely. Because I definitely agree, practical considerations, 100% for sure, especially if it's a heart issue, yes. but also dealing with whatever is being stored on there. So any traumas, heartbreaks or pains or anything that hasn't been let go of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if there's many questions. No, just about them, just mainly a few comments like Janet 5G was rolled out same time COVID arrived. That was key. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They definitely knew what they were doing on that front, didn't they, Warren? They all did, mate. Really did. Yeah, heart chakra clearing can help. That's definitely another thing. So that would be worth trying. I would try everything. Yes, yes. Just try what you can, really. Michelle also said so many deaths from back injury, unfortunately blamed. When getting insulin resistant after two backs, what do you suggest? Um, there is a homeopathic remedy that can detox the vaccine out of you. I know that much. So that's one starting point. So that's going to be part of our series and sharing a bit more about that kind of stuff and how it works. But yeah, there is a homeopathic remedy and possibly even a ferric frequency and things like that. So, anyone else? I mean, who here was experiencing out of issue a real health, uh, health issue that's unexplained, but you're finding it, you're not finding it easy to find answers? Just raise your hand or, you know, mention it. Yeah, so frequency healing centers are opening all over the world. Enhance energy system. Yeah, correct. Absolutely correct. That's the way of the future, Michelle. Okay, so William, if people want to book in with you and have a chat, you know, as to possibly working with you and getting a started integrated health approach, what would you, I mean, what's the process from here? So I suppose it depends what they're looking for. If... If they're more, because of course, there is always that daily energy group that we've talked about where, yep. where, in, where once a week we meet on Zoom and uh, where you can request a more personal type of clearing and, and where we clear it and gather together as a community. And then every other day um, is where it, we're also um, doing daily clearings that are remote, non-communicative, and also have videos um, when they're done as well that are posted into the Telegram group. But otherwise, another way that people can work with me is um, through one-on-one -on -one sessions where they can just um, simply click a link, book a discovery call, and then, just then discuss options with me and where to go then. Because then with the daily group, of course, we have our own onboarding call link for that as well. So then those are the best ways that people could work with me for anyone that's interested. Right, gotcha.
Yeah, so um do we so um do we maybe wanna um put the links into the chat now? Yep, let's put the link into the chat as to what's um in terms of what's next. So let's just put the link in. So yep, the link is in there. Just raise your hand if you're interested in booking for a discovery call, just so we get an idea. I've noticed a lot of people who are already existing um clients are on here, so just raise your hand if there's anyone here. Okay, no one at the moment. Um, so basically, okay, who would be interested um, just in principle? Obviously, we're doing a free series, eventually doing some kind of integrated health workshop in the future. Just raise your hand on that one. This is just giving us a bit of an idea what people are looking for right now. Okay, and for those in a couple, and for those interested in the daily energy group, the link is in the chat as well. So again, just raise your hand if that interests you in principle. If you're not already in it, again, I've noticed that most people on here do seem to be in it already. Yep, the workshop would be really teaching. Um, in I'm just curious because I have to organise well in advance, but like a homeopath, um, would probably come and teach on energy and energy and frequencies. We'd probably get um. You know, William doing trauma, we get a psychologist speaking, um, we get um, a doctor speaking who's, who's alternative, and all kinds of other stuff. Okay, everyone, well, if there's no further questions, um, thank you very much for attending this webinar. Um, very much appreciate having you there. We're going to be doing some more specific ones over the next few weeks. So Janet says you've been great and in future we'll try to add your healing. Having two other ongoing healing situations you'll be interested in. Yeah, absolutely. You know, trial options. We'll be teaching all the different ways and showing you different ways to address stuff. So thank you for attending everyone and we'll see you soon.